can you see me? Oh, hey there, hi. What if I just filmed the whole time? She's like, hi, wow, hi, <laughs> me. Conceited. Stop. <laughs> Makeup products because Correct. I don't know how makeup works and she's a master makeup so we're just gonna see if I figure this out before we get started. Be sure to subscribe. <laughs> I do videos every single week and it helps me a whole bunch now. Let's get to the action. So right now I'm gonna insert a little clip because she did my makeup. Like obviously you guys watch my channel, you know this is not what my face looks like. So she did it right before we came on here. So like here's me freaking out about it. Hey guys, Rachel just did my makeup. I haven't looked yet. I'm gonna look right now for the first time. Oh my gosh, <laughs> who? Is she? Why do I look like an adult? <gasps> this is insane. My face has never looked like this. It's got like shine and like, what are my eyes doing? This is insane. Rachel, you're literally a goddess. Who are you? You're welcome. <laughs> it looks like natural, but like also like I'm a different human being. How does that work? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need to know like everything you use. Okay, things, great. Okay, <laughs> welcome back. Wow, magic. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is you're gonna give me products and I'm gonna guess how much they cost. Yes, and I have a cheat sheet. I know nothing about makeup. I've never stepped foot in this, so that's a lie. I went to Sephora once and turned around because there were too many people and I hate people. <laughs> Relatable. Mm -hmm. All right. Never been in a Morphe. I've been in an Ulta once, but all I did was look at the clearance. <laughs> so I don't know what any of these that's things are. That's fair though. We love a good bar. Okay, Smashbox I've heard of. This is open primer, primer, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> uh, I literally, I couldn't even tell you if this product is like, should I like show them? Are they gonna be able to see this? I don't know. Here, beauty look. guru. Oh yeah, beauty, hand. beauty guru. <laughs> hey guys, hey sister. Oh wait, we can't say that anymore. <laughs> Not right now. Okay. Um, 20, no. Not, okay, primer is probably bougie because it helps your face. So I'm gonna say it's $30. But it's is not that your lot. final answer? But it's not a lot. 25. 36. Ugh. Honestly, that's not bad. Like for this- uh, It lasts a long time. You don't need to use a ton of right. it. Right. But okay. it does expire eventually. How, how do you know that it expires? They usually have like a little um, oh, thing months? on the back. Yep. I watched Jeffree Star. I really know things. Okay, I know great. Everything. Love that. Next. Oh, should I do something? <laughs> We're done. Thank I'll just, like, you. Next. Throw it over here. <laughs> it goes in the fire. Love that. Some of these are going to be a little beat up because I actually use them. Like, what about this stuff other than nail polish? Okay. Yeah. That's why when you said earlier, yeah. like, they do lipstick and nail polish, right? I, I was like, like, a little more than that. Uh, okay. I thought that the fond intent was like part of the name, but I think that's just French, right? Because they yes. sell it in France. Okay. Wet n Wild is cheap. I know Wet n Wild is cheap because they do foundation. They, no, well, I didn't know that until just now. But <laughs> they do nail polish and lipstick. I'm going to put this at $11. Is that your final answer? Yes. $5.99. Wow. Mm -hmm. The foundation, this is like good. Yeah, and it lasts a long time. They've really been like stepping up their game at the drugstore, I think. And so, um, <laughs> with yeah. top, test it with top, top smartphone models. So they know that you're taking selfies yes. with this. It's called the Photo Focus Foundation. <laughs> oh, should I feel like I should definitely I never take selfies. Sorry, I have no idea if this is focusing, but if it's not, sorry about it. Oh, um, wow, okay. <laughs> All right, and it doesn't like feel thick or anything when it's on? Mm -mm. Okay, love nope. that. Love that for me. Let's see, what should we do next? Are you learning so much, Jake? <laughs> Did you know what, what these things cost or no? You have no idea. Oh, no. Same. This is the next one. Okay, so in fairness, this is the Clinique thing, and I thought Clinique was cheap because <laughs> I've seen commercials for them, but then she was like, no, honey, <laughs> no. So that already is gonna alter my opinion. Um. Foundation and concealer. Okay, so I would say foundation is like 20 bucks, concealer is like 15. So I'm going to say it's like $50. 29. Okay. All right. Yeah. You can hang? Yeah. 20, okay. <laughs> That's what I used on you today. All right. Oh, it, it's really nice. Didn't you say it smelled good too? Is this the one that smells like, can I smell it? Yeah. Is that creepy? <laughs> no. <laughs> Summer <laughs> scented. <laughs> I mean, don't like snort it or anything. I'm going to do whatever. Oh, it has a brush thingy. Yeah, it's a doe foot, like a big doe foot oh, applicator. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that was 29. Fun. Wait, 
I think I have to do horizontal. I don't know. If none of this is even coming up, that's fine. We'll just keep it in for the giggles. Okay. I like that. It looks like it's like a little brushy thingy. I yeah. didn't know that it did. That's not bad. I would get that, honestly. But I keep spending money, but like 29? Not too bad. No. Did you put it on my full face or just my T-zone? Full face. Okay, this is Laura Mercier. Mercier. What is it? Mercier. Mercier. I, who knows if that's working? I learned um, it from the booty gurus. I've heard of this before. I don't know why I'm looking underneath. I Translucent like setting anything. powder. They have like one of the best uh, ones, that's why. I literally don't even know if setting powder is more expensive than foundation, though. I don't know. Are they the same? They're not the same thing, but yeah. are they like you... There is powder foundation, but that is not powder foundation. Right. That's what it's giving me the vibe. Mercier sounds fancy, so I'm going to say that this was $20. I'm going to say that this was $3,000. <laughs> I mean, a little less. No, it um, is $39. Okay. I mean... It also lasts a long time. Yeah, because you don't use a lot, probably. Do you use this every time you do foundation? Not every time. It depends, like, how much concealer and everything I use. Because sometimes I'll just put, like, a pressed powder over it. Um, but other times if I want to, like, bake, I'll use that. What's a pressed powder? I'll show you. That'll be our oh, next, oh, that'll be our next oh, item. We love a segue. We love a segue. <laughs> Alright. Okay, this that was the pressed powder <laughs> intro song, okay. apparently. CoverGirl Radiance. Advanced radiance. Okay. This you're saying this is different than foundation? Yeah. There's like nothing left in it because I hit pay on really hard on it. <laughs> it's like a powder foundation, but it's different than other foundation. This is like in between setting powder and foundation. Yeah. Some people just use that by itself if they want like a lighter, more like I woke up like this kind of look, like the no makeup makeup look, which I is a thing. I feel like everything, I just, for some reason I say $11, but CoverGirl I know is cheap. CoverGirl is at Walgreens, CoverGirl is accessible. I don't even know what this is, I've never heard of this until today. <laughs> um, $14. $7.92. Okay, but yeah. if you use, okay, and I'm guessing it lasted a while? Yes. Okay, that's Most a makeup price. products do, the things I run out most of our mascaras because you're not supposed yeah, to use really them after like, a certain time. Yeah, I throw my every like six months. I think it's probably supposed to be three. What is this? Highlighter. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what what is Well, that could be like bronzer. That could be like eyeshadow. Like, I don't even know what that it's is. It's real shiny if you open it and like swatch it. Okay. It's really shiny. It has a cool texture too. It's one of their super shock highlighters. Swatched that. I've never swatched a name in my life. Like, <laughs> I just put it on my skin. I was like, okay. All right. Am I beautiful? <laughs> okay. So this is this highlighter? Okay. Um, I vaguely think I've heard of ColourPop. I think of ColourPop from your pictures where you say that there's ColourPop eyeshadow, mm -hmm. right? Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I have some of that for you to guess too. Uh, I, I, I literally have never heard of the brand other than your like pictures of your makeup though. I don't know. I feel like this is like something that Instagram models use, so it has to be like somewhat. Pr um, mm. Like, also look at the packaging though, because like bougier products oh, will have yeah, like yeah. bougier packaging. So, and that's pretty simple packaging. How does plastic. it? How do you know though, like if it's not just like a modern bougie look? Like, what if they just want it to be white? And that's just their statement. That's true. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> I know. So okay, you're, so you're, you're I'm gonna say seven dollars then. Eight. You were really close. That was your closest one yet. TPA says only because you told me. If you had told me, I was going to guess like probably 15. But I, just, I would still pay 15 for that. Honestly, I mean, it's a really good brand. So I swatched. <gasps> it spreads. Look at that. <laughs> it spreads so easily. I thought it was going to like stay in a streak, but no, now I'm a glittery fairy. Blend. Blending. Blend. Ooh. This is one that you have to smell. As weird as that sounds. Okay. It's, well, it says bronzer on it, so that's half my battle. So now I know at least what I'm looking at. It's labeled for you, Lauren. Okay. Ooh, is this gonna smell like pina colada or something? Maybe. Love that. Yeah. Honestly, I would get that just to snort it. It smells real good. Oh my gosh, that is glorious. Okay, light bronzer, that just means like light skin, right? 
Well, they have like a light and then they have just like a bronzer. Um, I have to say Physician's Formula isn't the best at like their color range though. That's the name of the brand? Yeah, Physician's oh. Formula. It was made by a doctor, I think. Um, but I will say that they don't have the best color range. So they have like light and then not light and that's it. So it doesn't work for a lot of people, okay. unfortunately. But It's made by a physician. It smells real good. I like the packaging. But is it something maybe like, oh, it's a cheaper brand that's trying to look fun so that people catch it on the shelves? Because like usually if something's fancy, people are going to buy it no matter what it looks like because like they were going for the name. So I'm going to say this is $17. $8.69. That's crazy. It's a drugstore. This is adorable. Formula. You can get it at Walmart. That's amazing. I love the smell. I yeah. like the colors. I mean, okay. That's cool. So, like, is it, like, made for, like, sensitive skin types? Because that's why it's... They do have a lot of organic um, products. Like, they have uh, organic mascara that my coworker can use because she... Um, her eyes don't tolerate makeup very well. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel yeah. like a unicorn. You are a unicorn. Thank you. Let's see. Let's do this one next. Okay. My shoulders. Okay, this like has this. to be bougie because you just look how pretentious that writing is. <laughs> if that's not freaking pretentious writing, I don't know what it is. So it's called Ofra. 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 <laughs> not Ofra. Oh, Rodeo Drive. This that is was bougie a good idea, because who? That's like okay. Oh, that's Rodeo Drive. They really hills. I'm selling all of them now. <laughs> that one does not smell like coconuts, unfortunately. Highlighter, okay. How what? Our highlighter is different. I use that on you too. Mm. Only the best products to Lauren. This looks boot. I mean, it could be like they're trying to sound bougie by using Rodeo Drive, but like, I don't know. That's a pretentious name. So I'm going to say it's 20 bucks. 29. Okay. I could have gone higher, but I'm like, I feel like a lot of these have been cheaper than I would thought, but... I try to pick like the ones that would shock you because they're so affordable and then the ones that would shock you because they're not affordable at all. That's like crazy. I, yeah, that checks out because that name was bouge. Tart. Okay, I've heard of this before. I couldn't tell you what it is or what it usually is, but I do know that it exists. <laughs> um, shape tape. That it does. Oh, that's like what it's called. The shape tape concealer. Yes. That's the name. Okay. And I use that on YouTube. I feel like that makes it personal. Like, you should know it's been on your face. Really, Lauren, come on. <laughs> this, okay, I feel like if anything's going to be expensive, it's going to be the things in the little jars. That's what I think. I feel like that's the trap. I'm going to say this is $30. 27 Yeah. Yes! That's like my third tube of it, too. Oh, my gosh. You only need a little bit, but I use concealer almost every day because, hi. Yeah, and when I eye bags. <laughs> I don't use foundation. I always just use concealer, just like to just get a Spot little. Correct. Yeah, because I don't. Really, I don't really like foundation. I find that it's heavy and just like sometimes it is makes me pimply. We'll do another concealer so you can compare. Okay. That is supposed to be like a good dupe for shape tape. Okay, I've never heard of this brand. Apparently, it's called Revolution. Makeup Revolution. Oh, yes. Wait. Oh. Oh, Makeup Revolution London. Yes. Okay, if you're saying it's a dupe, that means it has to be cheaper. So I'm going to say... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> if it's 29, I'm saying that this one is 15. Seven. You can get it at Ulta. That's crazy. Does it, like, do you think it's a good dupe of it or no? I like, like you know? it a lot, but I still prefer the feeling of the shape tape. I find that this one dries out a little bit more. Is it heavy on your skin? Not heavy. It just kind of, like creases a little more because it gets a little drier and that's just mm. on my skin type it could be yeah you know so it's different, kind of like you can tell the difference different skin types but let's do this one that's the blush i used on you Ooh, that sounds bouge milani yeah. okay that has to be bouge because like they're like oh ooh, that's got this thing on bond that's how you know it's fancy when it has like the gold that like that it's kind of like metallic-y yeah that's bougie Baked blush. I'm gonna say that that's how much. Okay, where are my expensive things? So if that highlighter was 29, this blush is probably like 27. It's probably 7.99. That's the matter. You told me to look at the packaging. You didn't it's still plastic, but it's gold. <laughs> you can't tell me that I should look at that. Oh, I feel you doomed. You can get that at like Walmart. I feel lied to. I feel betrayed. 
This is the sponge that I used on your face Okay, today. this feels like a trap because, oh yeah, you don't have to, you know what a sponge tastes like. Um, it's really soft and squishy and I definitely got some from Walmart before that were five bucks and they did not feel like this. This feels really supple. It didn't hurt my face when I like used it, which is how I know that it has to be bougie because all the ones I've used are. So I'm going to say that this is $15. $5.99. How is it so soft and not abusive to my face? It's real techniques and real techniques makes really good products. I like love there's this. sponges and like a beauty blender is twenty dollars and that's six. Like Ugh. I I stand. Actually Elf makes a really good sponge too. Oh it's, like, it's so good. Just you were literally like beating my face hard, but it did not hurt. <laughs> and that's how you know that it's good. Oh excuse me, it's fun. Okay, I fixed it. Alright, let's see. Let's do this one next. Okay, this is Claire Hop. So we, I don't remember how much it was. It's like seven dollars. I don't remember. That's a whole eyeshadow palette. Though. Okay. Okay, look, it's a rainbow. Oh my yeah. God, that's pretty. Cool. Oh, that's right. <laughs> There's insides Come on, to things. Guru, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, they soup. They look super pigmented. Mm-hmm. Keep your head in the clouds. Okay, the packaging is really cute. I feel like this is a trap. So I'm going to say that this is $20. Ding, ding, ding. First one you hit right on. Oh the my side. gosh. Gold Just star. Stop. That's, I feel like that's fine because you have, you, yeah. this lasts a long time probably. And yeah. you have like, how many? Three, six, nine, 12, 15. Damn good time. Okay. All right. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> yeah. Fun story. I actually got that for free because I spent so much money on ColourPop's website. So it wasn't that free. That they gave me a free <laughs> eyeshadow palette. All right, this one is like used and abused and a little mm. bit dirty. Okay, so I was told by Rachel that Jacqueline, I've, I've heard Jacqueline Hill before, I've never seen any of her videos, I know she's a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. The YouTuber palettes are usually pretty expensive. She does real good makeup. I've seen too. Jeffree Star's was like 55 or something. So like that's pretty. But pricey. you have to remember that it's also with in collaboration with Morphe. And right. Morphe's a more affordable brand too. Morphe's so how yeah. much is Morphe? How much is the name? Yeah, I didn't even know what Morphe was. <laughs> so let's okay, let's look at it. Let's open it. Ooh. Okay, this is all eyeshadow. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is that what it is when you have a palette? Is it eyeshadow? Um, not necessarily. You could have like highlighting palettes okay. or like bronzing palettes. So there's or... thirty-five looks. Okay. Shade. The shade of it all. <laughs> looks. Shade. Looks. Um. I think you're trying to throw me off. I've been like, oh, it's Morphe. It's more affordable. So I'm going to say it's $40. 38 Who you're is she? Good at this. You're Why good is she guessing. becoming a makeup guru? Who is she? Not really a makeup guru. Just like good at guessing prices for makeup. Oh, no. This is my favorite mascara. Mascara is the craziest thing because it's literally not big at all. But it the prices range so much, even at like a Walgreens. Yeah. I've never heard of Essence, but like they have a cute bottle, so they're probably expensive. I don't know. <laughs> like that looks like cute. <sighs> oh, we should make sure it's still recording. Okay. <laughs> Hello, are you still there? <laughs> um, I'm going to say this is $20. $4.99. It's my yeah. favorite mascara and it's $4.99. How awesome this is, is that? This is a trap because you said to look at the stuff on the outside. And now, <laughs> I'm just assuming that anything is. Oh, it's rubber too. That's fun. For grip. <gasps> for grip. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> for grip. Um, yeah, because I guess, I mean, they probably make it look fancier, so you think it's fancy. I don't know. It's all. It's, it's, it's pretty capitalism. great, though. <laughs> Not going to lie. Okay. Ugh. This is a travel size, but guess like the full size of it, if that makes sense. What is it? Mascara. It's called They're Real. And the company's called Benefit? Yes. I've never heard of them, but that's why really? they're probably very expensive. Because I don't know what they are. Have you ever heard of Hula Bronzer? Because that's Benefit. Hula? Yeah. No. Oh. Um, <laughs> that was like my first product. It's called They're Real. It's very minimalistic, but it has like a shiny top, which means it's probably bougie. Because if it's shiny, it's bougie. So it apparently when it's gold. So a full thing of this, I'm guessing, is $40. 25 yeah, I feel, I feel like that. a lot of the mid-range products are around the $20 mark for mascara. Yeah. And then when you get into like YSL or What's like, like the more most expensive, expensive mascara that's out there. 
gosh, I don't know because I can't afford it. <laughs> we know. Plot twist. <laughs> Plot twist. We can't afford things. All right. Next up, you're going to guess a brush. This is the one you told me. You're like, oh, well, you've got to because it's bougie and you're going to lose your mind. It's so soft, though. Ooh. It's the only It cosmetic. It sounds like you. Brush. <laughs> uh, your perfume. <laughs> Thank you. <I> <laughs> It has really good weight. Like, it feels expensive. Like, when it's in my hand, I'm like, this is well made. Like, you, if you look at where the brush is aligned to the metal here, plastic, whatever it is, it's, like, really clean. And, like, there's not even any gapping. It looks really well done. I'm going to say this is $30 for this singular brush right here. It is 18 Okay. But for one brush, that's, like, super expensive No, that's really to expensive. Me. I was going a little... I'm going overboard on these because I feel like you're going to throw one at me. That's, like... <laughs> thousand dollars you passed most of the tests so far. um yeah i like this a lot i could see why someone would pay that for this what brand is it it cosmetics i've never heard of them but like look how cute that brush is it has the like a fan brush oh it's so soft too I you can't it feel highlighter. it but it's fine it's soft next that is an eyeshadow by stila and i've never heard of them they're great in my humble opinion. Opinion. I'm going to start like under guessing because I feel like I've gone too far and now we need to get back to where we came from. It's a liquid eyeliner, so like, it probably means it costs more to make pigments. I'm going to say this was $12. Double it. <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> $24. But why? It's, hit swatch it and you'll see why. Like just put a little swatch of it on the back of your hand. It's like amazing. Can I just look at it? No. You don't understand. It's $24. Do you want me to waste it on my hand? Yeah. Swatching is like half the fun. You need to swatch it harder than that. It's $24. <laughs> I mean, that's really pretty. Like, yeah, I get I mean, it. Just like, blend it out. Does it blend well? Yeah. There's like little glitters. Yeah. I get it, but also, it's $24. You okay. never pay too much to glitter and shine. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. You knew the cap of this one, so I Jeffrey Star. Okay, 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 okay. I know Jeffrey Star is. I'm ready. I know he has. Ooh, okay, velour. I know that the velour liquid lipstick. And I know that like the palette's like fifty five dollars. So I figure this is less with lipstick, but it's still Jeffrey Star. So like, I want to be make it affordable, even though I'm rich. My gut's saying fifteen, but I want it has to be. It has to be like fifteen. Eighteen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That You're right in that ballpark. You better work. You better work, sister. sister. Oh, wait. Not sister. Sorry. I'm mixing up my beauty gurus. So sorry. Sorry about it. No, he says, welcome back to my channel with the brush. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Okay. Okay, Colourpop. This has some heft to it. This is metal. That's how you know it's good, apparently. I don't know. <gasps> it's got words on it it's ursula it's from their disney villains collection love that jake okay. got it for me okay i'm gonna say that this is twelve dollars because disney has to get a cut of that money it is eight that's good for eight dollars like for like a Disney product that also has heft to it and also has a cute little design on the outside. Mm -hmm. I, I approve. It's a really good formula too. Does it make your lips dry and cracked? It turns them into poor unfortunate lips. <laughs> okay, that's it for me! Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're getting down to the last couple here. Okay. I have no idea what. Chayate? Siate. Siate. Okay. Siate. <laughs> That is a lipstick where a liquid lip where you put it on your lips, you let it dry, and then when you push your lips together, like glitter comes out. It's called a glitter. Okay, that's kind of amazing. I don't know what yeah. you're talking about, but like just what you're saying makes me really excited. I love that color too. Everyone watching this is probably like you trash panda. Can you learn how to? What is, is that called? Anything when you hold it up to the camera? And you're like, Hi. I don't know. <sighs> YouTubing. <laughs> it sounds bouge. Made in Italy. I'm going to say this is $25. 19 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Close. You ballparked it pretty well. Yeah. That's good. I, I could see that because it looks pretty exciting. All right. And then last but not least, we have our friend, the setting spray. 
I literally have never even looked at a setting spray in a store. Like, I don't even know what this goes for. <laughs> it's Maybelline, so I know that must be somewhat affordable because I've heard of it before. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Jeez. Um. How long would you say this lasts you? Like, this thing here? Um, a couple months, maybe. Okay. I'm going to say $30 then. Is that your final answer? Yeah. It's $8.99. What is it? Pricing is a construct. <laughs> None of this makes any, like there's not like a rhyme or reason for anything. It's like, let's pay, this is seven, this is 50. Who knows, man? It's the brand name and it's also like the ingredients and then if, where they make it and everything like that. It smells good lot. too. Wow. Okay, well, I don't know if we learned anything today, but we learned. <laughs> we learned that Lauren is getting in, into makeup now. Oh I, 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 like, I definitely have appreciation for makeup, for sure. But I don't think, if someone asked me to do this all again, I don't think I would have gotten any better, honestly. Because no. all I've learned is that it's all over the board, and that packaging means nothing. <laughs> you, yes, really, it does. you threw that to me as if it was going to help me, and then it helped it me not have. at all. You were like, oh yeah, packaging means a lot. Look at this really fancy with all these designs four dollars like what is that it makes no so sense blessed. anyway hope you guys enjoyed it i'm sure that we can make this a whole thing i'm sure there's lots of products that i don't know the price of but that's fun okay if you like this video be sure to subscribe because if it is every single week it helps me a whole bunch yes Are you do thingy yes subscribe